Hi everybody and welcome to my latest YouTube video. So this video is about perch fishing from the boat and what happened is that last season, a year, literally a year ago, um, I stumbled on a load of perch uh, when I was pike fishing and I had my perch rod with me so I just ended up bagging up and I did it over two days. I also caught a 25 pound pike so um, I believe the perch were actually all in an area and the pike had moved in to feed on these perch and I'd actually caught them. So all this footage you're going to see basically is me catching loads of perch and I'll show you what we're using. I was using this, this is a BFT Instinct rod, um, jig rod that I use. I've got 10 pound braid on there, I've got an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader and I've got this, this is a pigster and it's been, I'll just put it up to the camera so hopefully you can see it there and you'll see me catch just tons and tons of fish on this and I'm not doing anything fancy, all I'm literally doing, you know it's a ball jig head, 14 gram, and all I'm doing, I'm casting it to the bottom, letting it go to the bottom, and all I'm doing is catching up with the slack line. You know, it's, this isn't rocket science fishing, this is basic fishing, but you know, when you get it right, it's devastating, and you'll see by the numbers of fish I caught, that um, if CWC are ever gonna call me up to do um, Perch Pro or something like that, I think I should maybe get myself on there. Right, everybody, enjoy the video footage, and uh, I'll see you next season. Right, so one of the biggest parts of perch fishing is actually locating fish, and it might sound like a simple thing to say, but what you need to do, you need to come and have a look on Finder, and what I do, I'll scan the area, and I'll use the uh, Minn Kota front, and I'll just cruise up really slowly until I start seeing them. It's going to come across. Actually, I'm going to look down here. What I'll do is I'll put it into four speed. And then what we'll do, we'll start slowly going up and down here. Alright, so what I'm looking for, perch generally show up on finder as little balls on the bottom. And they stand out like a sore thumb when you start seeing a shoal. I'm just gonna go down the slide. Here you go. So these are perch. These here are perch. See them? Them balls there? Also showing on here. On 2D and down scan. You might see odd one here. These are perch here. Off the left hand side. There. See the shadows of them there, the white dots of the hard returns of the fish. There you go. So there's a group of perch there. And that's what you're looking for. These are really important things to find. As soon as you find these in any set of numbers, I'm just gonna have a quick cruise if you can see in the deep more numbers. I'm gonna speed boat up a little bit. This is an Elix 10 um, Gen 3, and it's a lethal piece of kit finding bait fish. So again, you've seen some more here. There's only small amounts. There's only a few down there. What we're looking for is a dense shoal. So what we'll do is now we'll just have a cruise down. See if I can find a denser shoal perch. See. Now I found a really good shoal down here earlier on. So there you go, some more there. Again, it's showing his green on here. Little dots on there. So I want to find a dense shoal, and I want to find some some really decent shoals. When you find the better shoals, I mean you can pick these individuals off, no problem. But what you want to do is find have them competing. So you want to find a better amount of fish. So I'll just keep on cruising and see if I can see them. And it's just coming up a little bit now. Let's see if we can find uh, some better numbers. Just keep going up here now. Again, you're still, still, still seeing that they're not in great numbers. I'm just going to speed, find them, speed it up a little bit on the corner. And then what we do, as soon as we find them, we go past them and then put the anchor on spot lock and then we go back and cast to them so I'm just going to go and see if we can find them now I'll stick us in a little bit here there you go there we go see me on this corner you can also see them on side scan now there's a group there 
just there. The thing is, there's a big snag here. See them all now? Showing? There's a big snag here, but there's fish all over it. So what we'll do now, we'll kill it. We'll spot lock. And what we'll do, we'll drop the lure straight down on these fish. This is all perch here. All of these are perch. All these returns are perch. Just keep on there for one second. Let's see if I can take one up. There is a snag down here. Please. There you go. Literally two minutes. And if you look now, if you look on finder, little perch there. If you look on finder now, you see them all moving around. So we've actually spooked the shoal now. But they're there, they are literally down underneath the boat, so we'll just drop it aside of here now. If you look down onto where I'm jigging now. Oh, straight away. I literally, I'm just holding the rod. I'm, I'm hardly putting any pressure on the rod. I want to feel everything through rod tip. And all around us, if you look on finder now. There's obviously a lot of perch down here. See them on bottom now. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to drop boat here. Have a cast about. Spot lock it there. I'm just going to change lures. So I've just received some from uh, from Stefan. And we'll uh, give him those loads of fish down there. If you can find them. So we've got pigsters and pigster tails. The tails are a bit small, let me see what jig, what jig, what jig heads I've got, because uh, I was kind of few in the boat. I'll be a bit too big for. I'll tell you what, we'll go big. Go big. Go big. Oh, that's not too bad, that's just too heavy a jig heads I've got. This is shallow water, this is only nine, eight, nine foot. So hopefully, should be able to feel this. This clips a little bit, no, I have to be a bit careful with it. Yeah. 
I remember one day many moons ago, these fish a spot a lot. There you go, that's one. I used to fish this spot a lot and um, I remember casting here on boat and having three or four fish, absolutely colossal perch come following me lure in. I didn't have any perch gear that day, I was pike fishing but they're all good fish. I don't mind this spot, it just looks horribly snaggy. Maybe I should have put Chev on this one. Weedless presentation. But I've no doubt also there's a big perch around here somewhere. Lighter you get. The take, oh come on. The takes are like that. There's no messing about, there's solid takes. That's the one. Oh come on, Woody. Come on. You ready to check? Go a bit heavier so I can keep in contact. It's uh, so it's only fairly light jigger this one. Too sure, I might just go on a slightly heavy jigged. Mainly because of crosswind there, it's horrible. It's in a hell of a boy, my line. Get. I don't know I'm catching them, but I'm sure I feel a lot more if I uh, find a slightly bigger jigged. It's probably about 18 grams or something like that. It's crazy. So back on the perch spot. 
Um, I just, I've just got to, I can't just go away from the sport here, so I just open it, they're still here. But a slightly heavier jig head to slit on. Just got this one straight away. Them down there, absolutely black with them. There just has to be a better one in there. Hard to guess how many perch are down there at the moment, it's ridiculous. One, two, three. I've gone to a 12 gram jig head now. I did manage to find one at the bottom of my bag. I think just with that extra wind that's blowing through us at the moment, it's just, it's just got a bit painful this wind. So, might as well put every jig head on so I can keep contact with bottom constantly. It's just quality sport, look at that. Really nice quality fish. Been out by another pike. Been out by a pike, that one, I imagine. Look at it. Just have to be careful with this wind. It's strong as it's been all day, which is great, but it is what it is. I mean, it's. If I'd have come just perch fishing today, I've no doubt whatsoever I could have jumped 100. It's ridiculous. I've actually got my board, I could measure all these, but is there any point measuring them? They're all about the same sort of size. that sort of size. Bambino. I'm just scared at the moment because I know for a fact there's pike everywhere here and it's only a matter of time. It's awesome. Comes in. Nails it. Perch magnet. This is my audition for Perch Pro. Ridiculous spot. Ridiculous spot. I'm gonna try one. 
into the canal entrance. Leave me alone. Oh, Woody, come on. Ridiculous spot, honestly. Just ridiculous. Um, what do you say about this? It's just it's, it's good sport. It's really good sport. Really, really good sport. Like I say, I think I'd be better with bigger to get, but I can't be asked for changing it. If I'm honest. There's a big in here somewhere. I know there's. I know there's a big one here. Where are you? Must plateau off here. Not so long. Oh yeah, plateaus are such it's such a bit shallow around here as well, so we'll just try one upstream. Then we'll go and catch some pike, I promise.
it literally is one a cast. Like I say, you're not talking all special there. It's a lot of pig stuff. Just catch a couple more, just two more, I promise. Two more and I'm off. I must go catch pike. I'm here for pike. Give you a shake. Right, bait, sorry. I probably will, I'll probably come and have a go on this spot actually, later on. I've got some more deep water to fish up there first. I'll come down here, but when I stop here and start perching, I'm going to drop baits out here. God knows how many fish are down there. I mean, there's plenty on finder. It's just full of them. Right, two more fish, two more fish, two more fish. I literally could put anything on here. Throw that way out.
crazy spot. And like I said, there's no monsters. I ain't caught anything. Look at how red that one is. Look how red that one is. Red on its face. I wish people realise I'm off work. I am not at work. I am fishing. Leave me alone. I'm trying to catch three pound perch. Find another shoal a little bit further upstream, but they were only like six, seven ounces, so no special, so moved. Ridiculous. eating my tail oh man now then let's see how on the, they are no tail no problem That's literally got nothing going for it. It's no tail on it. And anything. Just that. Chance I'll catch biggest fish as well now, watch. Hold up, put a different bait on. Well, I'm gonna have to put another bait on, aren't I? I'm gonna try and fix the tail. The only problem with fix the tail is I think I need a short out. leave that like that, it's just terrible.
Jesus, Eddie. Shocking. I'm just going to reel this one in nice and steady and see what smacks it. Because I've got that little curly tail on it, I think it's got a feeling it's going to be one of those that gets smacked. Just retrieving. Getting taps all the time. Not that.
I'm getting bored of perch fishing now. I've no doubt they're getting bored of me as well. I'm just going to try the last couple of casts along this edge here. for a, a cast about pike, since I've come pike fishing. Two more fish, one more fish, one more fish. Come on, be a big one. Be a three. That ain't the three. Right, I swear this is last fish, last fish, last fish. Let's go and catch some pike. Got to that boat over there. That concludes my audition for Perch Pro. I hope you liked it. Or maybe just one more, just one more. I swear that's this last one. Honestly, man, it must be literally black with them down there. I'll show you how many's down there. I'm not even going to put, I'm going to push that down there like that so it's not even on properly. Show you how aggressive they are. When they're that way out, you know, just crazy. Out of that still catching fish all right just one more okay okay just one more i promise this is my last one for a while
ticket. Failure. I'm go. Just a machine. Buy as well. There's a fishing. Right, stop it now, buddy. Morning. I would swear that that guy to go. Look at me, I can't move my cast, move my cast. <laughs> so I've got an option now. Do I go over there and set up for a big pike in deeper water? Or I've got an absolute colossal shoal of perch here, which are going to attract the pike, which means I could sit up here and, and fish for a bit. I mean, sport's just so good, it's ridiculous. I mean, there's just hammering everything. Fighting. <laughs> right, that guy's gone now. I've got this as a spot lock now, so I could actually come straight back here if I need to do. But as you can see, we haven't moved at all. So we're staying in exactly the same position all the way through. Engine doing its business. It's not even touching battery either. It's, it's usually it's nothing. I'll know about the boat. Just gonna find her. Three, two, one. Oh, come on. One last cast and we're going up there. Do, 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 do. All I'm doing is retrieving and waiting for the tip of the rod to tap. As soon as it taps, smack it. Just like that. Oh, I miss that bugger. If you do miss them, sometimes grab all the tail, pull it down, jig head. Oh, come on, Woody. Jesus. I feel the tail being pulled back on that one. Pulled sideways slightly. I mean, you could just retrieve these. I would imagine you don't even have to jig them, but enjoy jigging. Stop. 
Wait for it out. 